All right, now maybe you can help us settle a debate here. The Wall Street Journal this weekend basically said that Americans are leaving unemployment rolls more quickly and states cutting off benefits. The New York Times, on the other hand, said where jobless benefits were cut, jobs are still hard to find. Now, these are diametrically opposed stories. Obviously, we are all, including the Fed chief, worried about whether if you cut those unemployment benefits and people come back to work. Marty, you're probably the only person in the whole country that knows the answer. What is? Can you settle that debate between these two papers and the rest of us in the country? Well, Jim, what we're hearing from our clients is really it's a combination of many things. It's making it tough to hire. It is the unemployment uh, being higher than normal. That's definitely there in most areas. That's going to be that way through Labor Day. We're also hearing, though, very much that, you know, as you've said, there's stimulus money in people's right. bank accounts right now. And so there's stimulus money they didn't expect. And they're feeling a little bit more secure right now, at least through the summer. You're also seeing, of course, the market doing well for those in the market. You have COVID health concerns about people being resistant about coming back until more people are vaccinated. And then you have child care, daycare and schools that aren't back to normal. I think we kind of see this all coming together around the September time frame. And I think that will really open up the market to allow people to be able to hire a little bit easier. would be okay. our sense. Well, shouldn't there be um, some concern among people who are jobless? that they ought to lock in some great rate now versus when a lot of people come in in October, where I think that we can actually drop how much we pay? Well, I think that's a great question. I, I do think, Jim, that's true. I think you're seeing elevated minimum starting rates. You know, people, you know, even the frontline service positions up 17, 18, sometimes $20 an hour where they were less than 15. But I think people are saying right now, there's all, all those concerns I mentioned. And when you balance it out, I think they're waiting. They're going to kind of do a little bit of wait and see, and then I think it'll start to pick up again in September. However, I will tell you that our clients hired, you know, over 300,000 new employees last month and 3 million in the last 12 months. So there's hiring going on. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.